Good Thursday morning. We're in Psalm 12. Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. The faithful have vanished from the earth. Neighbors lie to each other, speaking with flattering lips and deceitful hearts. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boasting tongues. They say, we will lie to our hearts content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? The Lord replies, I've seen violence done to the helpless, and I've heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them, as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation, even though the wicked strut about, and evil is praised throughout the land. These perilous times in which we live, they've moved me to prayer like no other time in my Christian life. I've always held to the doctrine that society will continue uh, to go down an evil path of darkness and life on this planet will get worse. Righteous living is getting less popular. Deceit and immorality, they prevail. Still, God is our help. There is some relief in venting our griefs to God in prayer. In prayer, we are comforted by the assurance of God's love for us. We should be encouraged by the record of God's mighty works and His promise to stand by His people. In communing with God and casting our cares upon Him who cares for us, our faith grows and faith inspires hope. God's promises are good and they are certain because He is faithful. God is able to do exceedingly abundant all that we would ask or even think. There may be delay in promises fulfilled, but not denial. There may be long periods of silence, but never refusal. God has his own time, and he has his own way. Our hope will culminate in assurance. Light arises, the sky becomes brighter and brighter. If God is for us, who can be against us? All things are working to God's perfect end. The prosperity of the wicked, it'll come to an end. The end of the righteous will be peace. Therefore, Lord, we know you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation. Lord, you've spoken to we, your church. Let the world know we are yours by our love. May the sweetness of Christian unity be an attraction to the lost. Our faith is in you alone. You are our hope. Thank you for the assurance that you are working for our good as we fulfill our calling. Amen. Amen. Grab a Christian friend and let an unbeliever see your loved one for another today. I'll see you tomorrow.